What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see in the title, I finally got my hands on some Artem straps. You've probably seen other reviewers uh, take a look at these and I had reached out to some buddies of mine, also fellow YouTubers that had these straps and I was like, hey, I know you got a couple of them. Let's do a trade, let's, let's do a swap, uh, maybe make me, you know, make you an offer. And they liked their straps so much they weren't willing to send one in or trade, which I totally understand, no hard feelings. So just throwing that out there. But um, I was able to get a really good deal on a few of these straps. So we'll take a look at them for you here today. And I'll give you my unbiased opinion on what I think of them. You guys know me, if you've been with the channel for a while, and part of the Schwartz Force, then you know that I have no problem spending a little bit extra on a really nice strap to elevate the look of even an inexpensive $20 watch. These straps are definitely considered like luxury level straps as far as the materials and the quality. So while it looks great on a lot of luxury watches, I wanna show you taking these really nice straps and then putting them on a cheaper watch, how it even just elevates the look and feel of that watch so much more. And we're gonna dive into it here in just a moment. So in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Today I have on my Rotary Mechanique. This is an homage of kind of a blend between like the Cartier Santos and a Tank. Really cool watch, Swiss made. This is actually the last watch that I picked up in 2020 and we'll do a full review on it here in the future. My larger wrist guys, you're gonna really like this. So while we roll the intro, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, join the Schwartz Force if you haven't yet. We'd love to have you be part of the family. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. This is how the strap will arrive. As you can see, we have this nice Artem, which I think is Latin for art from what I researched. So I've been saying Artem, but I think it should actually be pronounced Artem. There's a bit of a Latin twang in there. So, so it's in this nice box with this bluish purple foil print. Let's go ahead and expose the strap. Now you're paying a little bit more for this level strap, so it arrives in better quality packaging, which is always appreciated, right? And we see this Artem logo with this geometric diamond shaped pattern, which is pretty cool. And inside there is some text that says, <laughs> oh man, here we go. My Latin is terrible. Uh, I believe it's saying Ars Est Gelari Artem, which I believe translates to the art of concealing art. I'm sure if I screwed that up, someone will correct me down below in the comments. So. If that translation's wrong, let me know. Or Artem, if you guys see this, let me know if I'm saying that right <laughs> and if I got that correct. But I'm just a Texas boy butchering some Latin phrases out here. <laughs> no harm done. And lastly, we see this uh, nice frosted plastic box that the strap is kept safely in. And there you have it, here's the strap. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now, this is the first strap unboxed, which is the 22 millimeter in black with white contrast stitching. And we see this 316L solid stainless steel tang buckle that the strap comes on as well. And there is branding on the inside of the strap. But you guys know me, I do terrible with choices, so sometimes I can't just choose one. So we also have the 21 millimeter, and this is one of the downsides, by the way, of having so many watches. You're bound to have lug widths of all sizes possible which isn't always a good thing. <laughs> so we have black with white contrast stitching. This is the black with gray contrast stitching. And lastly, in 20 millimeters, the black on black option. So it's really going to come down to personal preference. And keep in mind, Artem recently released two more color options, which are black with blue stitching and black with red stitching to give an even more pop of color in their lineup. And I'll put a link to their website down in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I'm just sharing it so you can go and check them out. As you can see here, the 20 millimeter is the one I've been wearing recently, which is why it has more of a curved shape to it. I wanted to break one in and see how it felt. And the other two, I wanted to wait for the unboxing first. So there's a couple of things on these straps that I wanted to point out in particular that I really like about them. The first being the contouring on the stitching, specifically the way that the strap curves inwards towards the stitch lines. It's done really nicely and you can see that there's this thick padding at the lugs and that tapers down toward the end of the strap. 
measuring on this one here you can see it's 4.5 millimeters at the lugs and then tapers down to just under two millimeters the next thing that i really like about it are these holes for the tang buckle and they're nice and wide so it's easy to get the strap in the perfect spot without any struggling and if we zoom in on the holes you can actually see that there is a high quality layer of sailcloth type material on top nice padding in the middle and then this rubber backing layer and it really goes to show how they've done a great job of fusing these layers together and when you think about it this is where there's a lot of stress and bending that takes place in this portion of the strap so we'll see how it holds up over time of course, but so far I'm really impressed with a first look at this portion of the strap. Now I was curious about the backing so I reached out to Artham and asked them what material they use on the backing portion because when wearing the strap I noticed how it's really comfortable and I could tell that it's not leather, but all they could say was that it's an intellectual property material, which I definitely respect that they aren't able to tell me exactly what material that they're using, but it does have a soft rubber feel to it as far as the texture. You do get some creasing, which is to be expected, but you're getting that durability and waterproof aspect to the strap while maintaining comfort as a priority. And looking at the keepers up close, you can see that this one is free moving, which is a bit wider than the fixed keeper, which is of course stitched into the strap, and the free moving one has a nice stitched band for extra reinforcement. Next, you'll see that when you order the strap, you'll actually have the option of including quick release spring bars or just traditional spring bars. You will wanna give some thought into which watch you'll be pairing these straps with, so I'll give you an example here. For the 22 millimeter, I went with the standard spring bars, and the reason being is that my Reef Tiger RGA 3035, which is a Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms homage, has hex screw bars and tubes, and a quick release spring bar would be a problem on this type of lug screw and tube design. Unfortunately, my plan was, after unboxing this, to put this strap on my Reef Tiger watch. However, the Allen keys that I have are not small enough to fit this hex screw. I did order some smaller ones online, which should be here soon, so I apologize that I won't be able to show you this strap and watch combo today. However, I will do a follow-up video showing the Reef Tiger strap swap here in the near future, so stay tuned for that. And lastly, I wanted to point out how well this Tang buckle is done, both in design and finishing. Now you guys know anytime I get a new watch or a new strap that has stainless steel, I got it hit it with my jewelry polishing cloths. And while the finishing on this clasp was already immaculate, this just helps brighten that metal up a bit. When getting up close on the Tang buckle, you can see that there's a nice blend between the brushed finishing and the high polished bevel edges. We see a subtle transition back to brushed or satin finish on the sides and the front lip of the buckle. We also have high polish on the back. And there is a small Artham Diamond logo etched into the front as well. Now it's one thing to show you the strap from afar, but let's get up close and do a short little macro exploration of the strap material so you can get a feel for the quality of the strap overall. And then I'll pair these up with a few of the watches in my <laughs> the 21 millimeter black with gray stitching option, which I've put on my Reef Tiger RGA 3033, which is an Omega homage and you can see how it pairs nicely with the dial colors and the Tang buckle pairs perfectly with this case, which also has a blend of high polish and satin finishing. And this is how it wears on the wrist. I love that there's virtually little to zero break in period for these straps. And they'll shape quickly and they are comfortable right out of the box. Now for the 20 millimeter black on black strap, I went for the L'Oreal Submariner homage, which in my opinion pairs up just perfectly. I love that these watches I'm pairing these straps with are also able to go underwater without any issues too. So it's not just for looks, but also for function as well. And lastly, even on this MDC field watch, which is a Seiko homage for under 30 bucks, you can see how this pairs up really well with the 22 millimeter black and white stitching option. Even though this case has a sandblasted finish, I feel like it ties in well with that brush finishing on the buckle too. 
And I can't wait to get this one on my Reef Tiger watch though. So again, make sure you stay tuned for that coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed my review and look into these Artem straps. They're currently going online for between $85 to $100, but the hype on these is quite real in my opinion and well worth the price. So if you have dive watches and sports watches in your collection, regardless of their cost, I would highly recommend you pick up one of these straps in the color option that you like best. Put it on your list of things to get in 2021. You won't be disappointed. And again, I'm not an affiliate of Artem. I'm just sharing my thoughts for my fellow Schwartz Force out there. Speaking of, if you're not a part of the family, you still have time to join, so click my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for taking a second to do that, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can definitely see more like it by clicking this video up here. I know you'll enjoy it. Now I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, and as always, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.